So we have three tens here, right? So something in your life is coming to major completion, major accomplishment in your life right here. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Look to the Hierophant in reverse, crossing uh, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. The Hierophant in reverse is about... Um, changing the way that you believe about something look to death a personal transformation this is amazing pisces amazing hi everyone it's dana deep thoughts with dana how are you it's been a minute right it's been a minute but i'm back and i'm back full force and i'm back permanently and regularly right if you guys want to hang around to the end of the video we'll do some chit chat and i'll kind of tell you sort of how things have been going with me and why i've been gone so long and all of that good stuff but i'm back with a vengeance and i'm ready are you guys ready this is a general reading what does that mean course. well that means that you very well may see a thread of your life in this reading but just like you are an individual and I am an individual, so are the journey of our lives. And each and every circumstance, situation, and person in your life is different from everybody else. So just because you see a general overall theme like the weather cast, right? A general forecast, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's about you and your area, okay? So if you see something in this reading that you would like confirmation, clarity, understanding, wisdom, or guidance about, please do get your cards read. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. And if I don't float your boat, by all means, have your cards read by somebody who does. Okay. All right. Let's hop into this. All right. If you're new to this channel, welcome to Deep Thoughts with Dana. We're about to throw down some deep thoughts about your life through the tarot cards so pull up a chair hunker down settle in get you something to drink something to smoke something to kick your feet up on and let's hop into some serious deep thoughts about your life let's do it hey pisces all right let's just jump right into this okay i'm using the good old-fashioned thoth deck right here i will leave a timestamp where the actual reading starts the way it will work is that i'm going to shuffle i'll pray I'll lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about it as I clarify it. It'll mostly be me mumbling around as I clarify. We'll sew together a story. We'll go to the top. That will be the timestamp. And then I will read the reading. I will do the recap and read it um, fluidly all the way through. Okay? All right. Let's do it, Pisces. Let's do it. Okay. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me, and Pisces wants to know what you know, Spirit. What's coming towards Pisces? What does Pisces need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? Spirit is always, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain as well. Please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is that you have to say for Pisces. Spirit, I will shuffle two more times. I'll cut three times and I will begin to pull off the top. If you can please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring the messages to Pisces that Pisces needs to know. Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate through? All right. That feels good to me right there. Let's go there. All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck is truce with the four of swords. Okay. First card out, right? Thoth isn't meant to be read in reversals. Okay. Science. This is a card about a state of knowing, right? Knowing that you know that you know. Um, truth as distinguished from ignorance or misunderstanding. Wealth with the Ten of Pentacles, very nice. Satiety with the Ten of Cups, this is emotional gratification. The cup overfloweth, right? 
Woo, the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful, beautiful. Some kind of turning point in your destiny, Pisces. And the Queen of Swords because of some truth, some decisions, possibly communication. Swiftness with the Eight of Wands. Movement, action, change, possibly communication. The Chariot right on. Rolling forward. The Princess of Cups in the center of your reading. This is either creation or this is messages about feelings. We'll see as we go. Ooh, the devil, an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth, possibly some kind of toxicity, some kind of attachment to the hermit doing some soul searching and some introspection. Hmm. The High Priestess, wow, following the Hermit. That's some serious inside stuff. This is Pisces doing what Pisces does best, which is using your intuition and feeling your way through a situation. The Tower, ooh, Pisces. Ooh, Cruelty with the Nine of Swords. This is, this is um, just that, cruelty, right? Anxiety despair. The art card, that's beautiful. This is Trump number 14, and this is about having a blank slate to paint the picture of your life. Beautiful. The Knight of Wands, taking some kind of inspired action or action being taken towards you. Pleasure with the Six of Cups, right? In the standard tarot, this is about family, home, nostalgia. It's about possibly reuniting or reconciling differences with someone. Interference with the Eight of Swords. This is the mental, right? Mental interference to the Knight of Cups. Very nice. This is being in touch with your emotions, being in touch with your intuition. It's possibly sharing your emotions with someone. To the Queen of Cups. Feelings, love, emotional balance, adjustment. This is the Eight of Trump. This is about adjusting, having the courage to adjust things. It's, it's akin to strength, right? It's about having the courage to adjust what needs to be adjusted in your life based on science up here, right? Knowing that you know. Ooh, the Aeon. This is um, uh, Trump number 20. Judgment. Hmm, judgment. To the Princess of Swords and the Magician. Beautiful. Let's see what comes next here. Oh, it's basically all the same story. Yeah, we'll stop there. All right, we'll stop there. All right, let's see what this bad boy is about. Um, Pisces, I swear, so if that is offensive to you, um, now's a good time to get the hell out of Dodge because <laughs> you'll probably be offended if swearing offends you. Just say it. I'd like you to stay, but if it offends you, um, I will swear. I can almost guarantee it, okay? All right, so science. Knowing that you know that you know to the Ten of Pentacles. What is this about? Okay. The future. The Two of Wands. Okay. So knowing that you know truth to the Five of Wands in reverse. This is an increased focus on goals. So Spirit, tell me, what is this truth right here? What is what is it that Pisces knows beyond a shadow of a doubt? Or what is it that you're trying to, to, to tell Pisces here? What are you trying to tell Pisces here? Seven of Cups in reverse. Illusion. Interesting, Pisces. Interesting. To the Ten of Pentacles. Family, home, establishment, wealth, foundation, potential. Okay, tell me about uh, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> we have three tens in a row right here, Pisces. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is completion. Ten is the number of completion. Okay, I'm going to read it from you from numerology just to drive my point home. Okay, I have, yes, I have a numerology cheat sheet right here, right? Because there's a lot involved in numerology. 10 is about completion, renewal, the end of a cycle, 
and um, it's 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 about it's about brand new beginnings, but bigger, right? Bigger. <coughs> All right. Two satiety. So we have three tens here, right? So something in your life is coming to major completion, major accomplishment in your life right here. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Look to the Hierophant in reverse, crossing uh, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. The Hierophant in reverse is about um, changing the way that you believe about something. Look to death, a personal transformation. This is amazing, Pisces. Amazing. So tell me what this turning point is here with the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit. What is the turning point? too many. What is the turning point, Spirit? To the Queen of Swords, no less. What is this turning point? What is the turning point for Pisces? You know what, Pisces? I just feel like I want to use a different deck to clarify. So I'm going to use the big rider weight. So Spirit, tell me about this Wheel of Fortune right here. What is this about? What is the Wheel of Fortune about? So the four of swords contemplating in a defensive posture to the chariot in reverse. So contemplating what your next move is going to be, where there is opposition. Tell me more, please. Yep, 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 yep. So opposition um, to the knight of cups in reverse and the eight of wands. Ooh, and the devil. <coughs> Very interesting. What is happening here? Tell me what this devil is, spirit. What is this devil? Is this an attachment? Is this someone from the past? What is this devil right here? What is the devil? Ooh, this devil broke your heart in the past. Okay. All right. So the queen of swords, this is truth, communication, a decision, seeing things clearly. Tell me what this queen of swords is about right here. Whatever she's doing, look, the three of pentacles. Okay. So there's some truth, some communication about teamwork and collaboration right here that that moves things along quite swiftly with the eight of wands and the chariot see the chariot's about forward movement but the chariot's also about your spiritual path right so tell me what this is about ha huh, the wheel of fortune i cannot make this shit up pisces this is fucking awesome. Y'all know I'm a Pisces, right? I'm Taurus sun, but I'm Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus, right? So this reading is, is a lot for me. Oh, and by the way, you can interchange with Taurus, right? Because I am a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus, what comes out of me seems to be able to, to interchange between Taurus and Pisces. So Pisces can watch the Taurus videos and most likely resonate, and Taurus can watch the Pisces videos and most likely resonate. So check it out. All right. The Taurus video was about love, about somebody coming back. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune, the chariot moves forward where there was the Five of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> and the Hierophant. <laughs> okay. All right, Pisces. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, so the Princess of Cups, a message of creation, a message of some sort, feelings, creativity, creation to the devil, to the star. Oh my God, Pisces, I am not kidding here. This is insane. Tell me about this devil, spirit. Tell me about this devil. Burden and a struggle for a long time. And now there is a realignment of an imbalance. Ooh, with an emperor. All right. All right. Could be talking about your life, okay? Let's see. And remember, we're going to go read this from the top. I'm just channeling and clarifying right now. So the hermit, right? You go into the hermit and the high priestess about this. 
tell me about the hermit and the high priestess, please. Six of swords in reverse. Lots of water under the bridge. To the nine of wands. Um, persistence, resilience, worn, plumb out. Interesting. What is the tower right here? What is the tower about right here, spirit? What is this tower moment for Pisces? What is this tower moment for Pisces? What is the tower moment? What is the tower moment? What is the tower moment, spirit? What is the tower moment for Pisces? What is the tower moment for Pisces, spirit? What is this tower moment? Maybe. Oh, here we go. So the tower moment, the lovers in reverse, the ten of pentacles in reverse, the empress to the queen of wands in reverse. To cruelty. Okay, let me think about this. Let me think. Let me think. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, I think I'm getting it. So, Spirit, is this tower in the past or is this tower right now? Is this tower in the past or is this tower right now? The Nine of Cups to the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, so I do believe that that tower is in the past. I think that tower, it, maybe we should put it in the front right there, right? Okay, okay. Okay, now there's the art card. Major Arcana saying, paint the picture, Pisces. What do you want? We're giving it to you. What do you want, Pisces? What do you want? Mm -hmm. Look at the future to the Four of Cups in reverse. Not really knowing. Tell me more. The Fool in reverse. Mm. The Fool in Reverse, okay. Tell me more about art. Tell me more. Knight of Swords in Reverse, okay. To the Knight of Wands. Pleasure. Tell me more. Tell me more about this little pocket here. The Knight of Wands, the art card, right? The art card. Tell me more. Tell me more here. Tell me more. Oh, yep. There we go. All right. The page of Cups to the Knight of Wands. Got it. Pleasure. Interference. What is the interference right here? What is the Eight of Swords? What is the interference? The King of Pentacles. Oh, this is supposed to be in reverse because it kind of came out. You all probably saw it in the camera. It kind of came out kind of weird. So I see. So the interference is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, right? To the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups adjustment. That's what I want to know about right there. What is it that needs to be adjusted? What is it that needs to be adjusted or what has been adjusted on Pisces' behalf? What is adjustment about? What is adjustment about the Page of Swords? The way that you think? Oh, communication. Okay. Tell me more about adjustment, please. Tell me more about adjustment. Okay. <laughs> to the Nine of Pentacles and the Magician. That's fucking awesome. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. To the Aeon, making a decision. The Princess of Swords again, and the Magician. Give me, give me a couple for the ending here, Spirit. What you gotta say? King of Swords in reverse to the Five of Wands. What else? What else? What else needs to be said right here? King of Swords in reverse. This is manipulative, tyrannical, um, liar. Liar. Knight of Wands in reverse. Frustration, delays to the Ten of Wands and ending 
well, I don't understand, Spirit. I don't understand. To the moon. Okay, there's Pisces. Again, in their head. In their, in their, not in your head. In your feels. Trying to feel your way through this, right? Whoa. To the page of Pentacles in reverse. Immediate short-term focus. What else, Spirit? What else? The hanged man. Oh, there's another one. So Pisces again in the hanged man. Self-protection with the four of pentacles. What else? What else? What else needs to be said here? To the sun and the three of pentacles. Okay, anything else? Anything else? Whoa. Okay, so justice in reverse to the Queen of Wands. Okay. Okay. Just give me a couple more here. Strength in reverse. We're almost done, Pisces. Hold on. Magician in reverse. The three of wands. Five of pentacles to the nine of cups in reverse. Okay, I think the story just keeps on repeating, Pisces. Hermit in reverse, the nine of cups in reverse, the page of wands in reverse. And the Ace of Swords. Well, now I have to know, of course, what the Ace of Swords is about. What is this truth? What does Pisces decide here at the end of everything? What is the truth? And what does Pisces decide? What is the truth? And what does Pisces decide? Okay, that's a repeat, right? It was the King of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, I mean, the Seven of Swords, right? Be but we already have all that in here, so we don't need that, right? I already know that. Tell me more. Tell me, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Thoth. I want one final card, Spirit, about this truth that comes to Pisces. Okay, Valor. And the Princess of Discs, right on. All right, what are we at? 12, 15 minutes here? Let's see. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else that needs to be said before I read? Anything else, Spirit? Anything that needs to be said? Okay. All right, we're done. Okay, let's take it from the top, Pisces. Let's take it from the top. Let's read this all the way through. This is an amazing reading, okay? All right. So we start out right here with science. This is this is spirit saying um, knowledge as distinguished from ignorance or misunderstanding. That is about to unfold in this reading, okay? It's about to unfold in this reading. Seven of Cups on top of this talks about um, illusion, okay? Illusion to the Two of Wands and the Five of Wands in reverse. So what's going on here is that you need to distinguish um, truth between falsity. That's what this reading is about, okay? Um, that is everything that we just went through in all these cards at the very end over here. So Spirit is saying something is coming towards you, Pisces, that you are going to have to disseminate. Um, you're going to have to disseminate if it's illusion and fantasy or if this is something that you can take into your future. The Five of Wands in reverse talks about two things right? Are we going to have an increased focus on goals or are we going to avoid the responsibility of whatever this is that's about to unfold right here? And that's the crux of this whole reading, okay? The crux of this whole reading is you having to disseminate between what is real and what is not real, okay? The Ten of Pentacles, this is wealth. This is, um, this is, uh, 
Hold on. Just let me clarify, okay? Yeah, look. Look. That's what I was going to say, okay? So, wealth, right? So, you're doing just fine right now, Pisces. You are. You are. Um, you have a ton of potential. You're building for your future. You are um, achieving and succeeding, right? Um, the Ten of Pentacles is representing your state of being right now. Your state of being is solid. It's solid and it's good. The Four of Pentacles, hence the crux of the situation. See, this guy right here in this card, he has enough, okay? He has enough. Four big fat gold pentacles are enough to pay your bills. They're enough to buy the things that you want to buy. It's just enough, right? But if he moves from the position that he's in, <coughs> excuse me, it's not coronavirus, I promise. If he moves from the position that he's in, he risks losing, um, at least one of his accomplishments, if not all of them, right? So this guy's dilemma is, do I stand up to possibly harness more or do I just sit tight and be happy with what I have? And that is the dilemma, right? Because you're doing really well. You're doing really well. And the dilemma is, do you, do you reach for more? Okay. Do you reach for more? The 10 of cups. This is emotional fulfillment beyond, beyond comprehension. The cup overfloweth. It's satiety in this deck, right? Satisfied, satisfied to the Hierophant in reverse. This is the reevaluation of the way that you believe in something to death in reverse. This is a personal transformation to the wheel of fortune, which is about a turning point in your destiny. Okay. So let's back up. So let's back up. So you are doing good. Your bank account probably looks good. Your sense of security, let's just say that, okay? Because bank account, that's, that's, that's a, 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 a relevant um, perspective, right? Some people having five extra bucks in your pocket is doing all right, right? Some people having 500 extra dollars in your pocket is doing all right, right? Been both places, right? Been both places. I can relate. So you're, you're okay. Your sense of security is okay. And now you're faced with the dilemma of trying to disseminate between what is real and what is not real based on some kind of incoming communication. Okay. The Ten of Cups, this is doing really emotionally well. Your sense of security, you have harmony in your life. Things are good. Things are good because you have reevaluated the way that you think about life, um, possibly about this situation that's about to unfold right here, right? You're doing good, Pisces. Death in reverse. You've had a personal transformation. You are on top. You've, you've closed out bullshit from the past and you're, you're doing good, Pisces. You're doing good. The Wheel of Fortune comes in and says, guess what? So the Ten of Pentacles, completion, right? You're good. The Ten of Cups, completion, you're good. The Ten of Trump being the Wheel of Fortune, this is the completion of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle, okay? It's a turning point in your destiny. So what is this about? Well, the Four of Swords says that you need to contemplate in your next in, a, in, a, in a, what your next move is going to be to the chariot in reverse um, because there has been opposition to the Knight of Cups in reverse, something that's unrealistic, okay? So you have... I wish there was a little bit more... Um, punctuation here, right? So there's opposition to, to the Knight of Cups in reverse, some kind of unrealistic sharing of feelings. 
the eight of wands comes in and says there is communication, swift movement, swift action, and swift change because of some communication that's coming into you from the devil, from somebody that did you dirty in the past. Hence the three of swords, somebody that broke your heart in the past is now bringing in communication um, that is a turning point in your life. The queen of swords, this is some truth that is spoken to the three of pentacles about teamwork and collaboration to the Hierophant and some kind of commitment and some kind of commitment. And it puts you in the energy of the nine of swords in reverse. It puts you in a state of despair. The nine of swords in reverse is also a painful lesson, right? Because whoever this person, whoever, 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 or whatever this communication is coming from is coming from a place that, that hurt you in the past, right? Could be a love situation, could be a, um, family situation, a friend situation. Um, for God's sakes, it could be a job situation, right? But there is communication coming in from someone who hurt you in the past. And you have to disseminate if this is real or if it's not, because you have a lot to lose here, Pisces. You have a lot to risk. You have the 10 of pentacles and the 10 of cups, right? You have a personal transformation. Whatever this is that hurt you in the past, you have gotten over it and you have closed out this chapter of your life. And now they're back in your face, right? Some truth is spoken about teamwork and collaboration and some commitment. The nine of swords in reverse, but you're reflecting with despair and anxiety um, on the painful lesson from the past here. The painful lesson from the past. Look, the hermit in reverse. This is disconnection and withdrawal. You haven't heard from these people, this person, this situation in a long time. You're doing good and then boom, they show up. And the Wheel of Fortune says the way that you handle this from this point forward is going to be a turning point in your destiny. Okay? Okay. 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 So the swiftness with the eight of, eight of Wands, right? It's the same Eight of Wands that's back here. This communication that's coming in from this devil that hurt you in the past. Movement action and change based on some kind of communication to the wheel of fortune. Again, a turning point in your destiny, Pisces. Do keep in mind, if you step off of a curb in front of a bus, that is a turning point in your destiny as well, okay? Um, the Wheel of Fortune is a positive card, but a turning point is a turning point, okay? Just keep that in mind. So, this communication creates a, 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 a position to where you have to make some very serious decisions and you're tasked with trying to figure out if this is real or if this is bullshit. Turning point, the five of cups, a turning point in the loss, the regret, and the despair that this devil and the three of swords caused in your life. The Ten of Cups in reverse, a turning point in a breakup or a misalignment of values um, in some kind of significant relationship in your life. Again, love, family, friends, um, employment. It, it doesn't matter. It, you, we can't, let's not label it just yet, okay? But something, some kind of significant relationship, you got done dirty and your heart was broken. You haven't talked to this person in a long time and now they're coming with double eight of wands, communicating, wanting change, wanting teamwork and collaboration and wanting some kind of commitment. Hence the Hierophant again, twice commitment. We have the wheel of fortune twice. We have the Hierophant twice and we have the eight of wands twice, right? 
the chariot. They want to move forward with you. Now, the chariot is major arcana, right? The chariot is about having the control, the willpower, and the determination to take the action that's necessary to achieve success. This is the vehicle of your spiritual path. So what Spirit is saying here is that your spiritual path, this is the turning point with the Wheel of Fortune, your spiritual path. It is. That, that is the turning point. Your spiritual path, right? It can't, you know, life, right? You got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. It's all good. It's all going great. And now Spirit comes in and says, we need to spice things up a bit, Pisces. You're a little too comfortable and we need to move you forward, okay? We have, we have something that needs to be done and your decision about what is unfolding in this reading is your spiritual path okay the chariot is to the ace of wands in reverse this is delays frustration a lack of motivation to the magician right manifestation what are you going to manifest four of cups contemplation and reevaluation what are you going to manifest holy shit what are you going to manifest Pisces, think very, very carefully about what it is that you are manifesting in this situation with the communication from this person who did you dirty in the past to the Wheel of Fortune. Again, three fucking Wheel of Fortunes, Pisces, in the first row and a half. This is huge. This is a huge turning point in your life. What are you going to manifest? Do you have the ambition and the focus to move forward in this situation? What are you going to manifest, Pisces? Princess of Cups in the center of your reading. This is a message. This is the Eight of Wands right here. This is the message. The message is let's create together. That's the message. Let's create together. Let's have some commitment. Let's have some teamwork and some collaboration. I know we haven't spoken in forever. I know I just came out of nowhere, but let's create together. Who is saying this? The devil right here. That's who's saying this. Let's create together. <laughs> the star. Spirit, Major Arcana saying hope, faith, purpose, renewal, and your spiritual path. Wow. This devil, this devil to the Ten of Wands has created great burden and struggle for you, Pisces. They have. It has the, this person who did you dirty with this three of swords has created great struggle for you. V heavy burden to the knight of pentacles. And it's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time to the world in reverse. But you have healed yourself from this. You've healed from it. You've closed it out of your life. And the emperor, this emperor spirit, is this emperor, is this, is this emperor who the devil is, is, is now, or is this emperor representing Pisces having control over their life? Four of wands in reverse transition to the princess of cups. Okay, so this emperor right here is is who this devil is appearing as, okay? You know the toxicity and the hurt and the pain. That's why this person is being represented as the devil because the three of swords, they did you dirty in the past, right? But now they're coming back with messages of creation and love and teamwork and collaboration and commitment, right? They want hope and faith and purpose and renewal. Your spiritual path. They're coming as the emperor. This is somebody that doesn't mix words. This is somebody that is honest, 
true, straightforward. This is somebody that is husband material, father material. They are in complete and, con and utter control of themselves and their life. And now they're coming to you and saying, Pisces, I am no longer the devil. I have changed and I want to be upright with you. I want to make good what was done in the past and I want to I want to bring to you Pisces everything that I could not bring to you before. Family, friends, love, work, community, whatever this is for you. This person is coming to you and saying I want hope and faith and purpose and renewal. I want a turning point. I want commitment. Wow. Pisces. Wow. The four of wands in reverse. This emperor wants to transition from a state of instability into a state of stability and structure and harmony to the princess of cups with a message of feelings and creation. That's what this person wants. And it's a massive, massive turning point in your life. Massive turning point in your life, Pisces. The Hermit. This all throws you into the Hermit energy, right? This is soul searching and introspection. It's, it's seeking a guiding light from your higher power to the high priestess, no less. Um, the, the Hermit and the high priestess, to me as a reader, um, mirror each other a little bit because in the hermit energy you're soul searching and introspecting right you are looking for the guiding light to lead you in the direction that you need to go the high priestess is a lot the same way except the high priestess is is your intuition right so you're in the hermit energy trying to figure out how you should handle this situation and then you're in with the hermit, no less, you're in the high priestess energy, really, really doing what Pisces does best. Soul searching and introspection, but relying on your intuition and your subconscious mind, your Pisces senses, your spidey senses to, to guide you through this situation, right? Six of swords in reverse says there's a lot of water under the bridge. No shit, huh? Lots of water under the bridge. Took you a minute to get over it. And now you're doing so good. And this person or this entity comes back and says, Hey, Pisces, hope, faith, purpose, renewal, commitment, teamwork, collaboration, turning points, love, everywhere. The, the uh, Nine of Wands talks about persistence, resilience, and being worn out. This is Pisces, look, the moon in reverse, repressed emotions to the princess of swords in reverse, um, a creative block. This is Pisces not knowing if they really want to re-engage with this devil slash emperor again. Yeah, look, because in the past, this person was the king of wands in reverse. In the past, this person was self-centered and egocentric. This person did not meet your needs. This person hurt you with the three of swords. That's why they're perpetrated as the devil, right? This person hurt you, but now they're coming back as the emperor and saying, Pisces, I want to change all of that seven of wands in reverse this is overwhelmed and you are overwhelmed here pisces completely and totally overwhelmed this person is offering you everything you would have snatched up in a heartbeat in the past but now you see this person through the eyes of the queen of swords right no more rose colored glasses no more no more feelings involved in the way that you see this person now you see this person clear cut clear cut and and you're struggling in the hermit and the high priestess to feel your way through this situation 
Princess of Swords in Reverse. This is all talk, no action, undelivered promises. That's what you had in the past, right? With the King of Wands in Reverse. This guy's a dick. Guy, girl, doesn't matter. But it's a man in the card and he's a dick. The King of Wands in Reverse is a jerk, okay? And that's who he was to you in the past, who this person was to you in the past. Seven of Wands in reverse, just overwhelmed. This is a tower moment for you, Pisces, an absolute tower moment. This is upheaval and chaos in your whole life. It's upheaval and chaos in your mental. It's upheaval and chaos in your feels. It's upheaval and chaos in your sense of security. It's upheaval and chaos in your Ten of Pentacles and your Ten of Cups. And, and Pisces is in the nine of swords, right? This is cruelty. This is heartless. It's, it's, it's massive anxiety and despair. It is a tower moment. It rocks your world. Look, the nine of cups, wishes fulfilled. In the past, you would have done anything for this. In the past, you would have given your pinky fingers to have this person come to you as the emperor and say, hey, Pisces. I want, I want all this with you, right? But now the nine of swords in reverse, painful lesson. Your painful lesson was that you wanted this with this person, but this person did you dirty. It's a painful lesson. And you've been hopeless about this situation ever since. And you've healed and grown. The lovers in reverse, this misalignment of values, this breakup to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the, the, the tear in the foundation of this relationship, is it repairable? That's the question. Is it repairable? If you sew it together, will it be stronger than it was before or will it be weak? That's the question. The Empress to the Queen of Wands in reverse. The Empress to the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, I see what this is saying right here. So Pisces, the Empress. Spirit is saying, <laughs> Ace of Swords in reverse, right? So Spirit is saying with the Empress that to work your way through this situation, you need to pull yourself together, okay? in the high priestess, in the hermit energy, while you're doing this scrubbing of your soul, right? About this person, entity, people, places, things. While you're scrubbing your soul, trying to feel your way through this situation, with the empress, spirit is saying, rein it in. Get your thoughts under control, get your emotions under control, get your passion under control, and get your sense of security under control. Know who you are as you move forward into your decision-making process. The Empress, just like the Emperor, is the culmination of all four kings, all four queens, right? The Emperor is all four kings, the Empress is all four queens. So instead of darting around and sometimes using your mind and your feels and your security and da, 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 bring it together, bring it together and be the empress. Know your worth, know your value and keep that at the forefront of your mental as you make your decisions moving into this situation. That is your advice from spirit. The queen of wands in reverse. This person could not meet your needs in the past. They could not. They were incapable of meeting your needs in the past. Absolutely incapable of doing it. But now they're presenting as the emperor, which is the soulmate to the empress. Now they're presenting as instead of being the king of wands in reverse and the devil and, and, and just scattered all over the place, this person has grown and matured just like you have, Pisces. This person has grown and matured and they have reigned in their scattered ways and they're coming to you as the emperor and they want to be with the empress, okay? And spirit is saying, reign it in. This person was incapable of meeting your needs in the past. To the Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, this is a lack of clarity. This is the decision-making process right here. Yeah, look, the Seven of Cups in reverse. The same exact Seven of Cups that was up here. Is this illusion? Is this fantasy? The Seven of Cups in reverse is about diversionary tactics, illusion, 
and um, the inability to make a decision. Um, that is the Seven of Cups, and that is what you're facing right here. The art card. This is this is Trump 14. This card is about a major arcana 14. This card is about what do you want, Pisces? What do you want? Spirit is saying, what do you want? Uh oh. Lost my power. Spirit is saying, what do you want? What do you want, Pisces? We are giving you the tools to paint the picture of your life. What do you want? Two of Wands. What do you want to take into the future? What do you want to take into the future? The Four of Cups in reverse. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm apathetic. I don't know. To the fool in reverse. I don't want to be foolish. I don't want to be reckless. I don't want to be naive. To the knight of swords in reverse. I don't want to be impulsive. I don't want to be irresponsible with my decision-making process. Then we have the knight of wands to the page of cups. What's the bridge here, spirit? What's the bridge here for Pisces? What is the bridge for Pisces? The bridge for Pisces is death, an ending, a change, and a transformation to the seven of swords and the lovers. This tells me right here that Pisces decides to put an ending to the way things were the seven of swords, the betrayal and the deception to put an ending to the way things were to the lover's card and move into a unified love relationship with this person. Now let's back up. Doesn't have to be a love relationship, but Pisces is putting everything in the past to death and preparing to enter in and in, into what will be in a significant relationship, okay? The Knight of Wands, Pisces taking inspired action to the Page of Cups to, to return the messages of feelings um, that this person, that this emperor is bringing to Pisces. Pleasure with the Six of Cups, reuniting, reconciling differences with someone from your past brings an immense amount of pleasure. Interference with the Eight of Swords. What's the interference? The King of Pentacles in reverse, right? Worried about appearances. What's my family going to say? What are my friends going to say? What's everybody going to say? Because I done told everybody what an asshole this guy was. I done told everybody I'm done and finished with this. I've healed. I've moved on. What are people going to say when I reveal that I am indeed going to re-engage with this person. That's what the interference in the mental with the Eight of Swords, right? The Knight of Cups. Don't care though. Don't care. To the Queen of Cups. This is an exchange of feelings. The Queen of Cups is emotional security. The Queen of Cups is love. The Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups is you throwing caution to the wind and going after what it is that you want. Adjustment. Adjusting the things in your life that need to be adjusted. What is it? The Page of Swords reevaluating a thought pattern right? To the nine of pentacles in reverse that, that, that this would ever happen. Nine of pentacles in reverse is an overinvestment of time and effort. And now you're reevaluating the whole thing, right? To the magician manifesting the shit out of this Pisces, manifesting the shit out of it. Aeon with the judgment card. This is about making a decision that changes the trajectory of your life. Hence the turning points and the wheel of fortunes. The Prince of Swords taking action to the magician to manifest this into your life.
okay? This little group of cards right here reiterates everything that we've talked about, right? King of Swords in reverse. Um, angry, angry. Five of Wands, conflict. Knight of Wands in reverse, delays, frustrations. The Ten of Swords, um, painful, betrayed endings. The Moon, Pisces, trying to figure it out. The Page of Pentacles in reverse, the short-term focus, the immediate focus. To the Hangman, Pisces, doing what Pisces does best, thinking about things. To the Four of Pentacles in reverse, do I need to protect myself, right? Do I need to protect myself? the sun. This will make me happy. What will make me happy? The three of pentacles, the teamwork and the collaboration with this person. Justice in reverse, the injustice from the past, the regretful but necessary transition. Um, but now, now I have the potential to pursue achievement and success in this situation. I'm drawing on my inner reserves to the magician in reverse because I I see potential. The magician in reverse is, is it's manipulation, it's poor planning, but it's also untapped talents, right? Being potential. I see potential in this. I see potential in this devil turned emperor. I see potential in the king of wands in reverse turned emperor. I see potential. The three of wands, um, I'm having some foresight, right? Um, my ship's coming in. I'm, 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 I'm good with this. The five of pentacles left out in the cold, emotional dissatisfaction, disconnection, right? Unrealistic, um, um, frustration, delays to the ace of swords. All of this has been cleared up. All of it has been cleared up. And now I know the truth. Now I know the truth, and my truth is I'm going to engage with this emperor. I am going to be the empress to this emperor. Valor with the seven of wands. This is about coming, overcoming obstacles with bravery. That's what this card is about. Overcoming obstacles with bravery. What are the obstacles? All the fucked up shit from the past with this situation. What are you overcoming? The mental associated with the king of wands in reverse and the devil, right? But now, now they're coming to you as the emperor and you're believing it, Pisces. You are disseminating truth from ignorance or misunderstanding with that six of swords, which was the first card out to the princess of discs and you are going to manifest you are going to manifest this situation into your life and that's what these cards tell me wow pisces wow 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 personally i would be absolutely floored if my person came back to me i mean absolutely floored um, I don't think honestly that that would ever happen for me, but if you want more clarification, understanding, wisdom, guidance about this situation, if you want to dive into this person's energy and see what they think and feel about you, but I'm going to tell you right now, like I said, in the beginning of this video, you may see this, you may want this, but when we do a reading about your person, don't be pissed off if it comes back and says, nah, this isn't your story. Because there's a difference between this being your story and you wanting this to be your story. Okay? And the only way to tell the difference is to get your cards read. It's the only way to know your real journey. And like I said, there's a difference between wanting this to be your story and this really being your story. Okay, so don't hold on to this reading with false hope and 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 live your life um, thinking that this person is coming back to you because couldn't it might not be your story. Okay, anyway. Anyway, 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 this is your reading Pisces deep thoughts with Dana dot com if you want your cards read and namaste. Now let's talk about all the stuff that's been going on with me. If you made it this far and you want to hang out and chat a little bit, let's do that, okay? Um, what am I doing? <laughs>
<laughs> if you don't know, if you're new to this channel and you're watching, um, or even if you're not new to this channel, right? I put out a video a while back about huge changes to the channel and things that are going on, right? Um, but of, you know, 80,000 people, only like 2,000 people watched it. So there may be a lot of you out there watching that didn't watch that video that don't know what's going on. So this is what's going on. So I have decided um, to take an adventure. I have decided to uh, pimp out the inside of a Mercedes Sprinter van and travel the country um, to connect with my clients and the people on YouTube who watch me and to see cool things. I'm a travel bug, right? I am a travel bug. I love to travel. I love to travel. I love to go new places and see new things. I'm also a very earthy person, right? So I like to be out Doors. My dog just barked. Hold on. So I like to be outdoors. I like to explore. I like to see things. I like to do things. So what I did is I bought a Mercedes Sprinter van, um, an older one, right? I was going to go balls to the wall and just buy a brand new Mercedes Sprinter van and just totally and completely, just totally um, pimp it out on the inside. But practical side of me took over, right? Practical side of me took over and said, hold up, Dana, what if you hate this? <laughs> what if you hate this? Now you're stuck with a, you know, a $50,000 van, um, more than that with the conversions and everything on the inside. Look at this Taurus colic I got going on right here. Do y'all know that? Most Tauruses have colics right here in the center of their forehead, um, hairline, right? So I thought, hold up, Dana, don't, don't, don't be ridiculous. Let's just hold on for a second. So I bought a used, an older used Mercedes Sprinter van. It's a small one. Okay. And I was a little on edge about the small miss of it. I think it's 144 um, inch wheelbase, right? So it's small. And I've spent the last two months completely and totally redoing this van. I bought it from an air conditioning company and it was used as a shop van. It had nothing in it, right? And so I, I insulated it and put in everything that I need and just totally made it efficient and functional for me. Is it amazing on the inside? A little bit. It's a little bit amazing on the inside, but it's not quite what I wanted, right? Because I had, you know, I had to work with what I had, right? And I didn't want to sink a shit ton of money into a situation like this until I'm sure that this is what I want to do. So I redid the inside of this van. I'm looking at it right now and it works for me. I like it. I think it's adorable. Um, it's, it's adorable, but it's not exactly what I wanted, right? Cause I didn't want to just break bad and go all in. So it's a starter van for me. It's a starter van, right? If I like this, um, come, there's some four wheelers out there come the, um, possibly Christmas time, right? Maybe sooner I will, um, buy a bigger, better, nicer van and I will pay somebody to redo the inside. Cause I did this all myself. Every screw in this thing was done by me. Every cut, every screw, Everything was done by me. I had absolutely zero help except for my son to help me um, put in the skylight up there, right? Um, so anyway, long story short, I have hit the road. I have been doing this for five days now. Five days. That's why I've been MIA from YouTube, right? I was all consumed. I'm project oriented. I'm on, I'm on the cusp of Aries, right? Which gives me the project, the, the climbing the mountain mentality, right? The Pisces is the dreamer in me. The Taurus gives me the work ethic and the Aries gives me the desire to go all out until my project is finished. And that's what I've been doing. So I've been actually living on the road in this van for five days now. Um, I went, um, I, uh, it was a learning curve for the first couple days. 
<laughs> it was it was a learning curve for the first couple of days I'm kind of getting used to it now I am sitting in the Medicine Bow National Forest in Wyoming right now it is amazingly beautiful I wish that I could have done this reading outside so you guys can see how beautiful it is um, but the wind man there's just wind like crazy and I just can't do this reading outside not to mention I have um, some bees that have just taken a liking to me <laughs> and they are um, always around they don't bother me I don't bother them they're welcome to come in and buzz around if they want to um, but um, as long as they stay over here over there right not gonna tolerate a bee up in my space but we have kind of an agreement so between the bees that have decided that they really like my camper van and the wind I could not do this reading outside and I'm so disappointed because it's so beautiful this morning, I woke up to a herd, a gigantic herd of Black Angus cows. I'm going to try to insert a little clip of that video right here. So I woke up to these guys this morning. My housemates. Well, actually, I'm probably on their territory. So thank you for your hospitality, my bull tribe. So those were the Black Angus cows that I woke up to this morning, and, and it's amazing, right? Um, it's national forest land, but, you know, farmers have a treaty with the federal government that to, to graze their animals on this land, right? So anyway, I woke up to mooing this morning and a big, huge herd of Black Angus cows surrounding um, my van. And as I was doing my housekeeping and folding up my bed and, you know, doing everything that needs to be done to keep things under control because it's a super small space, right? It's like, let's see, it is six by 11. So what does it put me at? 66 square feet right of living space it's tall it's super tall it's six feet tall in the center i'm only five five so that's great for me right so i have 66 square feet of living space with six feet of height and i have to keep on top of everything all the time i mean there is no leaving things for later in this lifestyle because trust me shit gets out of control real fucking quick so i'm on top of it all the time so i had my doors open this is my the back of my van right so I had my doors open had the side door open and I'm folding up my bed and getting the water ready for the day and you know doing my thing and these cows were just fascinated by me just fascinated they spent all day hanging out around my van sticking their head in here because when they would hear you know crinkling pay they're like huh is that food what what's going on what's going on um they actually accidentally destroyed my cooler <laughs> it's all right it was just a styrofoam cooler that had extra ice in it and um some yogurt <laughs> and i left it sitting outside as i was cleaning things up and rearranging things and one of those cows got into it and they didn't eat my yogurt but they definitely destroyed it so it's super cool woke up to a herd of cows the only bad thing is that now my dog smells like cow shit <laughs> You know, dogs, he's a uh, half mini Aussie and half um, Yorkie, right? So he's about 20, 25 pounds. And he, he thinks he's a lap dog like a Yorkie, but yet he has the adventurous spirit of um of a mini Aussie right of an of an Australian Shepherd so he has found himself some fresh cow patties and has commenced to rolling in them so yes my dog is covered in green cow shit and smells like a farm today is bath day for that little fucker right <laughs> So anyway, you guys, that's what I've been doing. I have been just uh, traveling around, getting my feet wet, trying to um, get a handle on this new lifestyle. I'm not going to lie. There are some challenges. There are some challenges um, that I need to come to terms with, right? I'm a little bougie, I'm a little bougie. I don't mind getting dirty, but I like a hot shower at the end of the day. My water system won't be here until the middle of July. Okay, I ordered it at the 1st of May and it won't be here until the middle of July. So I am taking cold water, um, um, gallon jug, bath and shower. Okay, and it sucks. 
it does. It gets the job done, but it sucks. <laughs> so I'm earnestly waiting on my hot water system to get here. I'm installing solar panels um, on Sunday. Installing solar panels on Sunday. Let's see, hot water system, solar panels. I got my air conditioner in last week. And I am, uh, yeah, there's just some, some adjustments that need to be made. I've rearranged and rearranged and rearranged, and I think I finally got it down. But um, the Gypsy Traveler is the channel that you can follow me and all of this um, van life thing on. Um, I have been, I have uh, had somebody so graciously, thank you for that, Jackie, actually. Actually, it is my ex-husband's wife, okay? She's the coolest chick in the fucking world. She is so cool. Um, love her to death. Um, but um, Jackie pointed out to me that I think I have a misspelling on the title of the Gypsy Traveler. I think I misconstrued a P and a Y. Um, and I'm going to go back and fix that. The channel's not even up and running yet. Y'all are welcome to subscribe. There's a link in the box below. Um, but there's no content, right? I'm working on getting those videos together. Y'all just don't even know how hard. It's not hard, okay? It's not hard. It's it's like super easy. But it's very time consuming to clip together videos and to make something fluid, right? So I'm working on all of that. And I will post on the Gypsy Traveler one big fat intro video about the van and the whole van life thing and then I'll carry y'all with me as I go on my adventures okay and meeting um, YouTube people I will put out a post that says hey I'm gonna be in um, Sacramento California on XYZ date at XYZ time at XYZ place if y'all want to come out and hang out by all means please do um, of course it'll be a public place um, so y'all can't kill me in my sleep okay <laughs> not you guys but I'm here to tell you there's some weird fucking people in the world right so I need to be safe about myself so anyway um, I will put out a, a notification probably um, maybe the day before I arrive at the location. And then as soon as the meet and greet is over, I will leave and go to my next destination. So that's cool. Um, um, clients, I have clients, you know, all over the United States, all over the world, but I can't reach y'all across the pond yet. That's, that's next year's adventure. Okay. Um, but I'd like to meet with clients. I would like to have a more intimate, um, situation with my clients, right? The general YouTube crowd will be a public, um, um, gathering. You don't have to pay or nothing. We're just going to hang out, right? Just going to hang out and, uh, and, uh, shoot shit, right? But my clients, the people that I know, the people that I do readings for all the time, that will be a more intimate location. We'll get together and go have dinner or we'll get together and y'all can come sit outside my van and we can drink wine and talk, right? So my clients are a little bit more, um, personal than the general YouTube crowd. Okay. So anyway, that's my plan and that's what I have going on and you can meet me and my poppy do the one who smells like cow shit right now. I promise you won't smell like cow shit when you meet him. Um, but you can meet me. We can hang out, um, readings. Of course, if you guys want a reading, we can do personal one-on-one -on -one readings and, um, yeah. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. That's why I have been MIA on YouTube and, um, yeah, it's all going to stop though. I'm settled and I kind of got my setup going on here. It worked fairly well today. It's the first time, right? So there you go, guys. That's what's been going on with me. And um, I will be back with more videos very soon. Namaste.